It worked! It worked! <sighs> Thank goodness we foiled the trigonometric missile attack. This will provide great training footage for our new recruits. Let's get to it! <laughs> training video 3-3. Solving trigonometric equations. Welcome, trainees. Let's resume. All right, trainees, let's start with example one. The goal today is to figure out how to solve trigonometric equations. So we're going to take this back to just solving linear equations and see if we can relate the two. The first example, we have 3x minus 1 equals x. Well, what value are we solving for? x, the unknown. 3x minus 1 equals x. First, I'm going to subtract x from both sides. 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now I will add 1 to the other side. 2x equals 1. And finally, divide by 2 to get x equals 1 half. See, pretty simple. Just a linear equation solving for x. Let's try to mimic this with a trig equation. Over here, I have 3 sine theta minus 1 equals sine theta. Well, my unknown value here is theta, I want to solve for theta on the interval 0 inclusive to 2 pi not inclusive. So similarly, I'm going to try to solve for theta. To do that, I need to isolate the trig function that goes along with theta. So I'm going to subtract sine theta from both sides, like I subtracted x before. So 3 sine theta minus sine theta is 2 sine theta. Minus 1 equals 0. Then I'm going to move 1 to the other side because I am trying to isolate the trig function, the sine theta. So 2 sine theta equals 1. Then I want to isolate, so I want to divide off the 2 so that now I have sine theta equals 1 half. If I look at these two equations and compare the steps, they were basically the same type of steps. I added one for the first one, I added one for the second one. I divided by two in the first one, I divided by two in the second one. For the linear equation, I got x equals one half. For the trig equation, I have sine theta equals one half. But wait, my unknown value is theta, so I'm not done solving yet. Theta equals, I need to figure out what theta values sine theta equals one half at. So to do that, I need to go to my unit circle. Sine theta of one half, that's my y coordinates, it's positive, so I'm gonna be in first quadrant and in second quadrant. One half is the short leg of the triangle, so I'm gonna draw a short leg 30, 60, 90 triangle in both of those quadrants. My coordinate for the triangle in the first quadrant is root three over two, comma, one half, and the second quadrant is negative root three over two, comma, one half. Both y coordinates are one half because I'm looking for where sine theta equals one half. So those are at my pi over sixes. So for this first one, I have one pi pi over 6, and then I'm just going to count around. So there's 1 pi over 6, 2 pi over 6, 3 pi over 6, 4 pi over 6, 5 pi over 6 would be the other theta value. So pi over 6 is one solution, and 5 pi over 6 is the other. Solving trig equations isn't too bad if we utilize the skills we already know from prior math trainings. So let's try this now with a quadratic. Agent R. Okay, trainees, once again, connect to prior learning. We are presented with the equation 2x squared minus 1 equals 0. The unknown value is x. So let's go ahead and solve for x. We'll add 1 to both sides. 2x squared equals 1. Divide by 2. x squared equals 1 half. And then of course we will need to square root. When we square root, remember we end up with two possibilities, plus and minus, square root 1 over square root 2. Square root of one is one, and then square root two is in the denominator, which we don't really like that much. So let's rationalize. Multiply by the creative form of one, square root two over square root two. So now we have x is equal to positive negative square root two over two. You know what we're doing now. Let's connect this to a trigonometric equation. Two cosine squared theta minus one equals zero. Once again, we are looking for theta on the interval from zero to two pi inclusive of zero. We will follow the same steps as we did when we were solving for x. Add one to both sides, then two cosine squared theta equals one, divide two, cosine squared theta equals one half. We'll go ahead and square root both sides. Yes, you can square root a trig function. Cosine theta equals positive negative square root of one over square root of two. And just like before, cosine theta ends up being equal to positive negative square root two over two. Remember, we multiplied by a creative form of one to rationalize the denominator. I hope as you're seeing this, you're thinking square root two over two, well, that's a value from the unit circle. Where did that value occur for cosine? Let's check. 
Root two over two comes from our pi force bow tie. So now I'm looking for cosine theta equal to positive or negative square root two over two. The square root two over twos occur on the force. So let's go ahead and make a unit circle, but I only need the pi force bow tie. Where all of these values are root two over two, comma, root two over two, and of course just changing sign depending on what quadrant they're in. We want when cosine is equal, cosine of theta is equal to positive or negative root two over two. Well, that's going to be at all four locations. Theta equals pi force, two pi force, three pi force, four pi force, five pi force, six pi force, and seven pi force. We have four possible values for theta that satisfy this trig equation. Okay, trainees, the best way to learn is from actual events. This is very important. Remember, we just had a problem in sector X. Let's see what happened, and you be part of the solution. Incoming missile, incoming missile, Agent R, can you see it, can you see it? I've got it, I've got it. Sine theta, cosine theta, minus cosine theta equals zero. Go, go, Agent M. All right, on the interval, I want to solve for theta from zero, inclusive, two pi, not inclusive. So sine theta times cosine theta minus cosine theta. So tempting to subtract those cosine thetas, but I cannot because this one's attached to sine. We must factor, we must factor. Let's factor out a cosine theta. So cosine theta times sine theta minus one sitting in that cosine theta's position because I factored out this. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, this is factored and I'm trying to solve an equation. Because this is in factored form, I can apply zero product property and say cosine theta equals zero sine theta minus one equals zero. We're so close. Okay, cosine equals zero. Uh-oh, I'm gonna need my unit circle. Cosine theta equals zero. Cosine, that's the x coordinate. X is zero here and x is zero here. So if I count around, that's at pi over two and three pi over two. Theta equals pi over two and three pi over two. All right, there's still one more part. Sine theta minus one equals zero. Add the one to the other side to isolate the trig function. Th sine theta equals one. Where does sine equal one? Sine's the y coordinate. Right here, that coordinate is zero comma one. And then down here, this coordinate is zero comma negative one. Sine is the y coordinate. Sine theta is positive one up here, but not down here at three pi over two. So theta would have to equal pi over two. Agent R, I've got it, I've got it. Theta needs to be pi over two and three pi over two. Checking, checking, here we go. Successful, mission success, mission success. Missile obliterated, next. Next, 